Do you think you could script this? Even if you've never scripted before, by the end of this video, you're going to be able to script this growing part right here. First of all, we'll start with this part. How did it even get there? Well, here's how you do it. You would go over to home, you would go over to part, and then there's your part. Now we need to make this part into a cube and the way we're going to do it is first of all make sure you have your explorer and properties so if your studio looks like this click on view explorer and properties you're going to click on your part and then look for size and then make the size one comma one comma one and that's going to turn it into a cube so the ones here are the dimensions of this cube so for example the x is that dimension the y is that dimension and the Z is this dimension. And when you have the X, the Y, and the Z all set to the same thing, then you have a cube. Now, if you run your game by going into home and clicking run, you'll notice that it doesn't do anything. And that's because we haven't told Roblox to do anything. And that's where our script is going to come into play. So now look for server script service, click on script, and then just follow me. Local part equals workspace dot part part dot size equals vector three dot new two comma two comma two all right so what this means is let part which is a variable be equal to the part inside of workspace so workspace is this thing right here part is that thing right there so now part is equal to that thing right there all right now we need to basically change the size of our part and that's what we're doing right here on line three so we're saying let the size of the part be equal to vector3.new. You don't have to worry about this. Just worry about these numbers right here. So we're saying let the size of the part be equal to 2 comma 2 comma 2. And so what do you think this is going to do? So right now, our part size is 1 comma 1 comma 1. And we're saying set the size to 2 comma 2 comma 2. So what do you think is going to happen to this part as soon as I run this game? Just pause this video. I'll give you five seconds. Try to explain it to yourself. Ready? One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So we basically said set the size to two comma two comma two, and that is double the one comma one comma one. So all we're going to do is run the game, and you can see that the part actually grew. It doubled in size. Okay. So now we need to basically tell Roblox to wait a little bit before increasing its size again. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to say task.wait1. So this means wait one second. And then now we need to make it bigger. How do you make it bigger? Well, you just take this line and you write it again. So you say part.size equals vector3.new. And then instead of the 222, two, two, now we want to make it bigger. So we're going to do 3, 3, 3. So now it's going to get to 2 comma 2 comma 2 and then one second later 3 comma 3 comma 3 it's pretty easy so now if i run this so by the way i'm you can if you don't see this run here just click on this and then look for run and now one second later you can see it grew it's pretty easy now let's make it wait one second before it goes to 2 comma 2 comma 2 so i'm going to run it so one second later boom and then one second later boom so hopefully you guys are understanding this. It's pretty simple. Now we need to make it grow even more. So now you're probably thinking, okay, what if I just take this task that weight one, put it here. I take this, I put it here, four, four, four. So now this will wait one second, two, wait one second, three, wait one second, four. And by now you guys are seeing the pattern. What if you just take this, copy it. By the way, to copy it's control C or you can right click and press copy and then control V to paste it. So you're probably thinking, huh, I can just do this a million times, right? <laughs> and then you're probably thinking, okay, so this will this will work, right? But there's one thing you do have to change. So it's two, three, four. Now you need to make this go five, 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 and then six, 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 and then seven, 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 eight, eight, eight nine 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 and then you're probably just going to continue going on with this and now if you run this you'll notice boom boom and now it's just getting bigger and bigger and that's how you do it that's like that's basically how you do it except there's one thing that's wrong with this which is that this whole thing is actually going to stop growing once it gets to 11 11 11 but if you want a part that just grows forever whoops 
But if you want a part that just grows forever, then you can't really do this thing and just have it stop at 11. You'd have to do a lot more copying and pasting, right? And you probably don't want to copy and paste until you're 82 years old. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell Roblox to do this forever for us. So instead of you spamming copying and paste, I'm actually going to teach you a clever way of doing this really, really simply, and you're going to understand it. So you understand that one second later, the part goes to two size. One second later, the part gets to size three. One second later, the part gets to size four. You Hopefully you guys understand this, right? So what we want to do now is we want to tell Roblox, instead of copying and pasting all this, why doesn't Roblox just increase the number two to a three and then increase the number three to a four? And here's how you do it. All right, so basically what I did here is we told Roblox forever, this while true do means forever, forever do this, set the part size to whatever the part size used to be plus 111. So if the part size used to be 111, then now it's going to be 222. If it used to be 222, it's going to be 333. If it used to be 333, it's going to be 444. So now we're it's like a clever way of telling Roblox forever increase the size by 111 and then wait one second and then it's going to do it again increase the size by 111 wait one second increase the size of 111 wait one second and now if we run this you can see that i saved you a whole lot of years of your life because now you don't have to copy and paste 50,000 times this part is just going to keep on growing 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 and we end up saving so many years of our lives because we don't have to copy and paste so this whole thing just handles it for us and that's the special thing about this wild true statement this thing allows us to do something forever and so this part is just going to grow forever and ever and ever and now i have a quiz for you all right so we know that the part is going to grow forever but it only grows every one second. But what if I want this part to grow faster, like every 0.1 second? What do I change in this code so that it grows every 0.1 seconds? I want you to pause the video and try to figure it out. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, hopefully you guys saw the task that wait one. This means to wait one second. And you said, okay, I'm just gonna change this to 0.1. And now if you run this, boom, <laughs> look at that. The part is growing faster and faster and faster. It's actually, oh, I think it's gonna collide with my blimp. Oh, nope, we're good. Script Studio's blimp is saved. And it's just gonna keep on growing faster and faster and faster. Uh-oh. It's colliding with my blimp. Oh no, it's steering it off course. That's not good. Okay. So, um, yeah, things can happen when you have a giant <laughs> part that just grows and grows and grows. <laughs> All right, so that's cool. And then we can also make this 0.01 if you want insane results. So for this, I'm actually going to move my blimp to server storage. And now it's going to grow like crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this. It's growing like crazy. It's going to literally be bigger than the base plate itself. <laughs> it's just growing and growing and growing. And all of that was achieved with just these lines of code. Isn't that crazy? And it's just growing bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And eventually it's actually going to exceed the size of the base plate. Here we go. <laughs> and boom. Oh, I think it stopped growing. I think it hit the max size, did it? Okay, apparently there's a max size and that's 2048. So you can't grow bigger than that. But there you have it. Now I'm gonna do something interesting. Now, what if we wanted this cube to start at 2048, comma 2048, comma 2048, whoop, 2048. So now I've basically manually made it start at the highest possible value. And what I'm gonna do is instead of making this grow, how do we make this shrink? So here's a quiz for you. I wanna see if you can figure this out. So right now it's really big. We want it to shrink now. We want it to get smaller and smaller and smaller. So think about where, what line I have to change. I'll give you five seconds. So we got one, two, three, four, five. So all you have to do is change the plus to a minus and that's it. So forever make the part decrease by one, one, one. And then it just keeps on decreasing by 111. So now when we run this, you can see that it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. 
okay, this shadow thing must be a rendering issue, but you can see it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And eventually it's going to get, oh, it's bouncing. Do you see that? <laughs> it's actually interacting with the Roblox physics and it's just bouncing. All right, it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And eventually it's going to, oh, it might actually fall off. Okay, <laughs> we're good. And boom, it vanished. All right, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out my book. It's actually out of stock right now. It's restocking on August 5th, 2025. So make sure that you check it out on that restocking date so that you don't miss out because this thing gets sold out really quickly. <laughs> and thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss future videos.